Alright, this is JBM and Elmid from Mr. Creep Show 9. There, we're gonna talk about the Mother's Day reboot, remake that was done 30 years after the original. There's a lot of talented people involved in this. The first one is based off the Kaufman brothers who were in charge of Troma Entertainment, who did the first one and made it a total Troma comedy. We did a review of that, and now we're doing the review of the Mother's Day remake. So they had probably a little pull, only just like their name being involved as producers. But Darren Lynn Bosman, the director of Saw 2, led this cast, which was a pretty good cast. And But the writer, but no one really was involved in the writing. None of these guys, it seems, because Brett Ratner well, was involved as a producer. I don't All know right. if it was the grip. I don't know if it was the director. I don't know who, who shot it in Dome Shot. We watched it off of Stars. And they already cut films to begin with and put it right in the middle, but it was you could tell that it was already filmed to begin with dome shots, just like that. Let's Batman. say this, they turned into a the modern dark, day suspense dark thriller. Knight, put it's up close. But worse go on. dome shots than the dark knight, and that's so it starts something. off oh the mother oh hold she up, hold breaks. up, let me say no, it was this freaking uh they turned it into a suspense thriller drama. CSI Miami instead of a slasher there really wasn't that many horror Instead elements. Instead of a slasher horror, it was, it, was ter- it was terrible. It was a suspense. But the cast, oh my god. Oh mate, best casting of any horror movie this decade. Rebecca De Mornay as the mother. Best casting for all their drama roles. It, all their intense scenes where they're talking about emotional bull. She basically has the same motivation as the Peyton Flanders nanny character. She got the role. Solely off her performance from the 1992 film, The Hand That Rocks the Cradle, where she's the psycho nanny who tries to take over this family's baby. Well, in this, she steals the babies from hospitals. People really do this shit. And they, remember those true, Unsolved true. Mysteries episodes of the bitches stealing babies from On hospitals? On Lifetime? Oh, I remember hardcore. And, like, and so... It's about these three brothers who are bankrupt. Instead of them being like hillbilly savages like in the original, no, they're more instead like... Instead of them being like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre family, they're hardcore. Oh, we're bank robbers and, like we look, and we look like Ben Affleck and we're a little bit attractive. All the brothers are a little bit freaking looking clean, you know, like... Uh, What's his name from uh, uh They're more domesticated I criminals. Candy. What's his All name? Right. What's his name? Aaron Carter. Aaron brother. Carter, yeah. They, one of them looks like Aaron Carter. It's a whole bunch of bull. And they should look, you know, a little bit more terrorizing than they do. And so they're holding the... So they go back to their old house, which has been foreclosed on, and a new family, and, and they're having a party. Well, and she so they, couldn't keep in touch with Mother, and, the, and he lost his cell phone, so uh, he doesn't know that they're still living there. And their stash is there, too, so they're trying to get the $10,000 Stash and the money from all the bank robbers. So they now they're bank robbers. And so... And so they show up, and it's like, oh, hey, so there's hold, a party going on, a whole bunch of filler, they're drinking one beer, and they're filming it forever. Almost none of it's plausible. There's, like, about a billion times they could, like, clock any of them in the oh, head yeah. the or scene, get you know, away. When they clock the one guy in the head, the scene's pretty funny. When they take off the guy's toupee, he's like, is that a fake? He's like, he rips it off. It's, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. And then they come in with their freaking uh, sh- brother that got shot, his ribcage shot. Oh, off. yeah, and he's the one that survives out of all of them. And one but of the guests just so happens to be a nurse or a Spoilers. doctor. Spoilers. And he's like, give me rubbing alcohol, a coffee filter, a spatula. And you're like, what, and are you're you? like, what is he making, hash, or is he going to save his life? <laughs> And you're like, I don't know. I never made hash. And then they go out to the freaking ATM and, and no, then, uh, oh, make and your then choice. It's, and it's then he pulls the no, Joker no, no. scene. Yeah, this yeah. is total dark night. Like, oh, you kill her. It's the guy who up. It's the owner of the house that they used to live in. It's his wife that he brought to the ATM. And then, oh, he's Jamie using, King. And then, oh, hey, then it's Snooky. Base- and some other chick shows up and behind them, and he's like, oh, just act normal. And then it's like, oh, and then he throws him a knife, and he's like, hey, you guys fight for each other. Uh, who's One of you guys will live, and you can run away. He's Even like, though he's going to kill them both, so it makes no sense. Though. So you know the, it's filler the whole time coming. And Jamie King... And you just want to fast forward, but JVM won't fast forward. Jamie King just looks terrible the whole movie. Because she was really ugly, and that was fugly. Because she was really ugly, and she was fugly. According to Keckler. We don't know if he's still alive or what, but anyways, 
Mother's Day, uh, totally up close, drama. Okay, let me say this though. If it wasn't all dome shots, it would have been a lot more enjoyable. You would have been able to see the action, what was going on, all the action. No, 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 let me ask it was, you this. It was not no, 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 let me ask you this. Like, Mother's Day quotes. Mother's Day quotes. I know you're looking for one to record, and they were all pathetic, and it was all drama drawn out. The so, only one, so the only good quote. Yeah, no, there wasn't that much good dialogue, even though Rebecca De Mornay was still amazing. What do you mean? She's hot? She's not hot. She's like fucking no, 75. No, she's an amazing actress. Her oh. and Sharon Stone's acting. Oh, great. I Sharon love Stone, you're going to bring her into this? Go on with Mother's I love, Day. I love her character in Basic Instinct. Shut up. We're I talking about Mother's Day, her hate. lines. Her I did lines. a villain profile her for... How pathetic were the lines? She basically has the same motivations as Peyton Flanders, like I was saying... Sharon Stone? Great casting. No, her hand the rocks that cradle roll from 1992. Oh yeah, she, that's really the only, the only reason why I brought it back is oh all the. It was gonna, ugly. And it was ugly. Dude, we knew it was ugly. And we knew it was ugly. But anyways, yeah, the uh, ending. <laughs> they, they try to do these stupid subplots and like. The ending. Of this. The husband and all of them, the black chick runs away and all the gets him back and blah blah and the ending, oh the fire trucks show up at the Winnebago, the 1970s one that showed up in the original, they drive away. What is he doing? They drive away. Go on. And it's pathetic. And uh and the kid and the kid who shows up. Did you mention up, the Winnebago yet, Elmid? I already did, and but Close up domes. It was pretty pathetic. Yeah, it was, uh, it was exactly like that romance drama. I give it a bowl. C. I give it a total pathetic. I, I was getting if you a headache. Have the DVD, tell me so. Was, tell me if it's not dome shots and it's yeah, more enjoyable. Yeah, definitely. If you have a DVD, tell us. If it's Blu ray, tell us. If it's not, you know, if it's a wide shot and it's not that. No, 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 no. You could tell, even if we were watching it on Stars, right, that the on director. Past seven minutes, everyone's getting bored. Okay, yeah, true. But the director, you know, it was close up, it was hardcore, and it was pathetic. It was drama, it was not a horror, it was not a suspense, it was nothing close to the original, yeah, it and was it's pathetic! Suspense. It was a suspense thriller, but it was... It, it was, was pathetic, yeah, just say it. It was just, just alright. Just be raw, just be real, it was pathetic. Could have been better. All I right, give it a C. 